Alright, how we doing, folks? It's Bull Marcos 1820. File numbers after the name. You go call me the newest member of the LMG gang, man. I'm all about the LMG gang right now in Black Ops 3. <clears throat> I am feeling it. Feeling it. Hands up on the ceiling. Look at that. So I was always curious to try the LMGs in this game. I'm just literally working chronologically how the game has it set up as to where I get my diamonds out. So as you can tell, I'm now working on my goals for the LMGs. Uh, when the game initially came out, I ran into a couple of people that, you know, were the Gorgon guys who would just pop you with like two bullets from a thousand miles away. And you'd be like, ah, that doesn't quite seem fair. I don't really know about that, blah, blah, blah. And since then, I haven't really run into too many people like that, honestly. I'm sure they're still out there, but I haven't really seen too much LMG use. And I thought about it a little bit, a little bit strange because, you know, the main issue with the LMG is how long it actually takes for you to, uh, to bring up the gun or... When you find somebody with some machine gun, you had a clear disadvantage. Uh, the biggest knock I actually have with the LMGs in this game, and poor, poor use of the sixth sense right there. The biggest knock I have with them is how poor of a hip fire they have. Having said that, I, I, I think the LMGs should be limited as to how they are. So I, I'm not like really complaining here. I'm not like gonna send a mission statement here of like we got a good, better hip fire than LMGs. No, it is what it is, and the H60s are what they are. I, I, oh man, I panicked right there. I panicked. I, I thought that the car was coming. Gonna. I heard the car, and I thought it was gonna wrap around and get me. And I was like, I'm gonna jump over the car and then just book it away from me. And little did I know that the person was very, very, very ready for me because they just came and ate, man, destroyed me. And now they three headshots. I think already this game, man. Hmm. The thing I like about this gun, man, it, it, it kind of, it got, it's got a little hitch up when you shoot, and it just hitches right into the damn, uh, to the damn, uh, to the damn headshots. I can really appreciate that. But I thought to myself when I when I before I even started using, it, I was like, you know what? They can't be too bad in this game because they have all the benefits of LMG, right? Like the 75 bullet clip, which believe me, I employ. Uh, they got pretty good damage. Uh, the range is solid. It's not great, but it's solid. You know, the hip fire right there, for example, kind of betrayed me a little bit there. Um, but the range is, you know, pretty good. It's it's yeah. You know, let me put it this way: there's no stoners here. Um, there's no Alsats, uh, maybe, or at least that I've, I've only used this BRF, so I can't speak for all the guns, but just the premise of the LMG. I don't feel that there's anything as empowering as those, but these are some good guns, man. And, and I think what, what you lack in range of motion and quickness and other call of duties when using the LMG is kind of corrected by the movement system of this game. Uh, I can move pretty quickly with this LMG. I'm lugging this thing around, and yeah, I have quick drawn right now, so I'm obviously able to bring it up even a little bit quicker. And maybe you do need quick drawn, and check that out, man. I put all the damn. Come on, man. Got the kinetic armor. Why are you going to annihilate me, B? Just let me live, man. So I'm working on right now. I actually skipped glitch, man. I'm working through the hero cameras. Well, I skipped glitch because I was like, I, I, I don't know if I can do glitch with the LMG. Yo, I tried. I wasn't even the LMG. I was using the, the, the haymaker at the time, and then I switched over to BR. Right? Yeah, so a little bit of both, but I was like, I don't know. I was like, I think I'm going to need, like, my A game to try to get that. So, I'm gonna, I think for now, I'm going to do everybody else. I'm going to come around. Maybe we'll run a couple submachine gun class, a little Man of War classes, a little Shiva classes, and try to finish off that glitch cam. But that glitch was pretty tough, man. The glitch hero, hero cam. If you guys got it, I'd love to hear what you guys did. I, aside from what my boy Garrett mentioned about, like, sticking nades to people, you know, hitting nades, whatever, which I actually tried once. I was so mad about this. So I threw a nade, glitched. I was like, nah, he's got to kill him. I didn't get anything. I'm like, what the hell happened? I look at the kill feed. I'm like, oh, some dude, some random guy just popped him. I was like, come on. And this guy right here, kudos to them, man, because I just got on the ledge right there enough to hopefully, I was like, maybe they won't see me. I mean, they'll see something, but it's going to be a little bit tough to aim him right in there. Nah, they didn't care. They managed to pop me right here, man. This is Type Tuesday, by the way. These games come down to the limits of the, to the wire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm just, you know, I'm using this BRM. And, and I'm kind of proven right in terms of, and this poor fella, it just, uh, oh man, um, I'm proven right in terms of I have the mobility, or I have a, a range of mobility that I didn't have ever um, before we're using an LMG, you know, an LMG, I, I used the Stoner because the Stoner to me was just kind of a bigger assault rifle in Black Ops 1, but good luck using like one of those like M60s or M80s or whatever, like you would just, it took you like an hour to get from one side of the map to the other using those things. I never found it worth it. Uh, the clip size, whatever. I was reload a little bit more, uh, and then you know the range was good, but not like not anything otherworldly either. So to me, the MGs were kind of a class that was just sitting there, like ah, well, I'll do it if I want the gold can. That's about it. Uh, this though, I, the more I use the BRM, and I'm very excited to try out, you know, especially like the Gorgon, like I said before, which was kind of the the killer when the game initially came out. 
<laughs> trying to play cautious there, you know what I'm saying? One of the things I do try to play a little more with this and why it makes it better for me is because I play a little bit smarter. And I'm going to get into that in a second over here. But I'm excited to get down to the Gorgon and, and see, because uh, I, I see myself using an LMG class. And one of the things I've been trying with this is pop popping a you know, whole clip into the uh, into a killstreak something. I'd be really interested in using that, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I uh, put in, like, a couple of uh, rockets into that Wraith. And then I was like, oh, it ain't that. Ta -ta 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 -ta, you know, unload a whole clip into the LMG. So I might, like, have it put it on my, like, anti-air class or something like that. Uh, even if I don't end up having a class itself. Because right now, the thing, way things are looking, man, I got myself a Shiva, a Man of War class. I got myself the, the Anti-Air class, the Raps class. I got myself an August class. And, you know, I'm still working on the LMGs and then the Sniper Rifle and see if something over there motivates me to bring them all into the team. But those are kind of the staple go-to classes that I got right now. And be careful with the headshots, man. Like, that was an easy headshot for me to get, and I almost turned on this guy. And that's, that's the situation. That right there is a clear example of... If I had a submachine gun, maybe that turn would have worked, right? Because I would have brought up that gun a little bit quicker. Maybe would have shot the rate of fire would have been a little bit quicker. Would have gotten him. Having said that, though, that's not a gunfight that you want to be in in terms of the LMG. And that's why I feel that even playing with an LMG by its very nature makes me just play smarter and play better. I take better angles. Uh, I'm in cover more, you know. I realize that I, I have certain disadvantages in comparison to other players, you know. Like the, the main people play with... A submachine gun assault rifle. I was you saw it right there. I think I got sniped over there. But even that guy wasn't really using the sniper as a prototypical sniper as you would. Um, even though he's trying to snipe him right here like he would. And he managed to pull it up. So it's all a bunch of mess sometimes. But normally, uh, you don't want to really approach and try to play a submachine gun kind of game with an LMG. Right? It's just not going to work. You're not going to be able to turn on people like that. You're not going to be able to go quick enough like that. It's just things that aren't going to be able to like work over there. And then I got lucky right there. So I was like, oof, the headshot, the jump thing. I was like, okay. Let's get this going. Let's get it going. I'm like, all right. So I perk up over here for a second. I'm like, I know that they got to still be spawning here, maybe. Don't really know. Decided to reload even though I got 20 bullets left. And come on, Marcus. But I got myself my kinetic armor. So I know that, like, I'm a little bit safe with that kinetic armor. Throw on the kinetic armor. I'm like, all right, I'm going to push up over here. Try to get an angle over here. See this guy jumping. Don't really care if, like, he hurts me or not because I got the kinetic armor. I'm going to get that tag later. I want to make sure I get another one while I still got the kinetic armor. That might be sniper boy over there or something. Don't know about that. But I heard this person boost. So I was looking for him, and then I look at my streaks, and I'm like, listen, man. I was like, let's get the hated raid going over here. 7270, all of a sudden we take the lead. I can appreciate that. Then I get popped. I cannot appreciate that. That is no bueno. So if you guys use the LMGs, man, I'd really be interested to see what you guys feel about them and how, how, you, how you feel about them so far over here in the game. Um, and what the best one is, I always like to keep an eye about that. But already in using it, my KD went up a little bit, so I'm a bigger fan of that. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But a lot of it is just playing smarter. Uh, and a lot of it is still like just getting out of the haymaker funk, man. Like I, I ripped that gun a new one last last week, and I couldn't even put footage of it because I didn't have a good game that I felt good enough to like put on the channel. I was like, I don't have a game enough where it's instructive enough or even good enough or bad enough for me to play. Like I just everything is just blah with the haymaker. Um, ever since I got rid of that gun, uh, I, my life's just been improved. I haven't found like another one where everything else looks so much better now. It's like, oh, you know what? Gun doesn't come up too quickly. Ah, oh, whatever. At least to kill somebody over there. And check that one out, man. They played me. I got the assist, so I thought that, that person was dead. Nope, was not dead. This guy will oh, jump around like a maniac. Maniac on the flow. I hope that was an annihilator over there. I can't really see. Oh, that was an August part of me. Well, that's fair game, I guess. I suppose. August. Do be laying that murder game over there. Some things right there. If that were SMG, maybe be able to do that, you know. Uh, and I'm being a little more. Uh, a little more forceful, a little bit more just moving up and down quickly over here while I had my Wraith up in the sky because I had the aerial dominance. And also because I thought this game was pretty close, so I was like, hey, man, I got to get in here. I got to start helping out my team. Like, I got to really start helping out my team. I start picking up tags. One of the things I don't do as well with the LMG, at least so far in using it, is picking up tags. I kind of find it a little bit weak because I am playing further away from people um, with it. And it's going to be interesting when I get down to the snipers how that ends up working. Uh, especially since I'm trying to do the hero cameras as well, you know, so I kind of want to get the tags to get more points and whatnot. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit of an interesting dichotomy between the two. Uh, the KD is helping out, you know, blah, 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 because I'm not getting as many kills. And this dude, I, I thought we were going to lose the game right here because that guy pulled like a Houdini on me. I had no clue where he was. All of a sudden, he came up with my sixth sense. I'm like, what the hell happened? He killed the guy and instead of running at the tag. He decided to, like, run around the tag. I don't really know. And then... That is unbelievable, man. I was so mad. I was like, if we lose this game. Twice in this game, I put on the damn, uh, the damn, uh, 
Dan Kinetic Almond twice. I got first guy popped on Annihilator, then I got popped with the bow. 93-90, though. I'm like, teammates should stay alive, and we managed to pull out this W over here, man. What is that, 45 and 25? A lot of deaths there, but like I said, it's it's a gun that you could use for certain situations, but I can't do, for example, what this guy was doing over here. Pardon me for the lag. I don't know what this, this was all about, but I can't do certain things, but I could do other things, you know, so I could play it a lot more like a just big, bad, mean assault rifle and sit behind cover and gun people down. I can't really push up and just annihilate people, but it suits my style of how I used to play Call of Duty a lot more. So there's an interesting dichotomy here going with the L with the LMGs. I'm a big I'm a big fan of it myself. That's all I gotta say over here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Your boy Marcos, like, subscribe to the channel, all that hood stuff. We outie.